end on that note, we cue the music. change your password to come in and buy stuff. Take that, Comixology. Mm, right anyway, to it. Walking Dead, trade paperback, the new one. Volume 20. Volume 20, All that, Out War. That's an entire volume of filler. All filler, no killer. Well, I'm sure there's some killing in there. Well, I mean, I'm just sure. guessing. Anyway, that's the first one uh, that's come out since I quit cold turkey on the trade paperbacks. So keep me away from it so I don't buy it, would you, Nick? No. no. I don't want to backslide. Okay. One day at a time. Harley Quinn trade paperback. Very buxom. How about that? Well, Terry Dotson. This is pretty awesome. Walt Kelly's Pogo, Complete Dell Comics, Volume 1. Classic stuff's nice. How do you not love Pogo? Yeah. Avatar, The Last Airbender. That's a lot of Avatar people. Ethnically uh, non non specific. Dennis's pick of the week, Action Comics. We're out of it. Gone. Yeah. A lot of comic book buying this week going on. Adventure Time flip side. Nick's pick of the week. Archie, okay. Afterlife with Archie, Frank of your goodness. Y'all got to jump on that. You got to jump you're on gonna, it. You're going to miss up when you read that issue, too. Yeah, it's uh, apparently pretty uh, momentous. It's intense. Apocalypse Owl with Gwyneth Paltrow on the cover. Drawn by Mr. Frank, Frank of Ilya. It's the circle of life, kids. It is. Detective Comics. Nick wants Gothopia to be over. Yeah. yeah. My pick of the week, Drum Heller. Crazy Riley Rossmo goodness. Trippy. Real head trippy stuff. Check it out. It's awesome. Earth 2. Evil Empire. Max Bemis' is new one from Boom. Yeah? Is it good? I haven't read it yet. Oh, Nick. Come on. Forever Evil with Nightwing. I yeah. read that. Last, the Nightwing's Last Stand. Nightwing's One Night Stand. I thought that was Batgirl. <laughs> no, wait. That was Huntress. That's right. <laughs> Hinterkind. It's a good series. People need to jump on that one. Hey, she's getting shot. Uncool. That is just not cool. Invincible Universe with art by Todd Nock, who's going to be doing the Nightcrawler book. Nightcrawler book, yeah. With that uh, Claremont doing the writing in it. Yes. It's, you know, he knows how to write Nightcrawler. He knows how to write Nightcrawler. Let's put it that way. Iron Man. Nick, you like Iron Man? Not for a while. Oh. Uh, David Laffham's Juice Squeezers. <laughs> I just like to say it. <laughs> it is fun to say. I'm, I'm a child. I'll be honest with you. I'm a child. Jupiter's Legacy. Look. Frank Quitely cover. It only took how long to get out? This thing wasn't released. It escaped. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the only reason it escaped is because Starlight came out. It snuck in. It's, they left the door open. <laughs> yeah, right. Snuck in under the wire. Nova? It's going in different directions. I, I still like Nova, but... Eh. I like Richard Ryder Nova. I like Richard Ryder Nova, too. I can't... I'm not much for legacy characters. I'm really not. Uh, Phantom Stranger? They really got to finish the Phantom, <laughs> the, the Forever Evil Blight crossover that they're doing. I, it's so much. It's I so know. much crossing over all the time with the crossing over. Uh, you, uh, Joe's before you week. know it, you're going to end up waking up with your sister. Oh, no good. Joe's Pick of the Week, The Punisher. What a great book. Great issue, too. It's always good. They get it, man. Yeah. Nathan Edmondson, he gets it. He gets it. And Mitch knows how to draw it. Quantum Woody. 
I like the little uh, variant cover, the golden little golden book variant cover for Quantum. This is Boy. the zero issue that tells the story of the goat. Hey, goat! <laughs> Revival. Look at that cover. Cover <laughs> of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Is that, is that Danny to, Trejo? No, you know who it reminds me of? Did you ever see Hannibal when Gary Oldman? Oh yeah. Yeah, got eaten by the pigs. That's what it reminds me of. Anyway, Suicide Risk. I didn't know this was still coming up. I know. I still get it. I, I still enjoy <laughs> I just, it. I just didn't know it was still coming up. Yeah, it's one of them ones where you thought it was going to be a miniseries. It made sense to be a miniseries, but it got worked into a continuous, oh. and sometimes it feels like they might be trying to draw it out. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, Swamp Thing. That's a pretty good cover, too. Look at that. Charles Soule. He's writing a lot of good stuff these days. They're, gonna, they're all chanting lighter than feather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't don't ask me about this. I have no clue what this is. What's this about, Nick? <laughs> Tales of Honor. I think it's, it's a game or something. I honestly don't know. Okay. Well, we can't know everything, kids. Uh, yeah. In fact, we know very little. Terminator Salvation. Look at that. Terminator. How about him? He's something. Issue seven of Trillium. That's good I, stuff. I like Jeff Lemire. I do too. This is hurting my brain. It does that too, because you got when you got when you got to flip the book around, right, and, and then you got to start at the back and and work your way yeah. forward. That's every other page. Hey Jeff Lemire, it, you want to give me a break? Please? I get it. I but... get it. You're artsy, dude, and we all think you're real smart. But seriously, could I just read your book? That's yeah. all I want to do. Anyway, uh, look at the Walter Simons and Mighty Thor. We got that Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog with Mega Man. There Carl must be ecstatic. <laughs> no, it's... Ecstatic. Hey, here's what I'm ecstatic about. Matt Fraction and Howard Shaken doing Satellite Sam. That's a great cover. It is a good cover. <laughs> <laughs> and then the... Death of Car Captain America. Is that the prose? prose novel. The prose novel written by Larry Hama. Creator I, of G.I. Joe. I'm thinking he might know how to write Captain America. He's a, he's a nice guy, too. Uh, auteur number one. This is my trippy goodness also. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. One of the reasons I did pick that one up, uh, I got both covers. Okay. This cover and this cover. And that cover... Whoa. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. But it was cool. I read it. I re did read that one. I enjoyed it. But yeah. they sent a bunch of them to the Westboro Baptist Church just nice. to tick them off. I was like, yeah, I'm buying it for that. Yeah, you got to support that. Yeah. If there are any members of the Westboro Baptist Church that watch these videos, number one, you already figure we're going to hell. And number two, stop watching us. Yeah. AI, Avengers AI. Bad Blood, look at that. That's, That's pretty good. Cover. Still enjoy that one. A lot of good covers this week. Uh, Batman Superman. Annual. This is the annual. It's got all J nice J Lee art. So there you go. Batwing. Batwing. Justin Palmiotti. Gray, Jimmy Palmiotti. Look at that. That's pretty good. Uh, Forever Evil Arkham War. I just with it over. sleeveless Batman. That's actually Bane, I think. Oh, Bat Bane, the Cable Guy. I don't know. I I don't read any of the Forever Evil minis. Oh, uh, President's Day was when. Come on, Garfield. You Get hate, on the ball. It's not a Monday. You hate Mondays. Uh, God is dead. God is also in a bag. Must be a body bag. There was a little... Uh, there was... I always like to find out why it's bagged, because I'm too lazy to open it. Full frontal? Female. Male or female? Female. female. Excellent. Uh, Green Arrow? Outsiders War? Everyone... Do it more for Johnny, people. man. Do it for Johnny. Oh. Well, not that Outsiders. Oh, what a shame. More people were jumping on, buying back issues just from the Outsider War beginning. Yeah. Jeff Lemire run. Jeff Lemire. There you go. You're hurting my head, Jeff Lemire. You're hurting my head. Uh, Lady Rawhide. Let's look at the cover. The With color, color cover of that. That's a little bit more rosy. Yeah, it is. It's not the only thing that's about to be rosy. Loki, Agent of Asgard, issue two. I like it. Yeah. I flipped through it. Loki's doing a little speed dating in this Hey. One. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. It's a harsh, he's, unfeeling world. He's a there. young, hip Asgardian. Sure. Uh, Magneto. Colin Bond. How come Magneto shaved his head? Uh, is he trying to single white female Xavier? Is that what he's doing? Is it in tribute? Is he like one of those guys? I just don't that, think he likes showing his gray. That could, that could very well be. He's always had a little problem with uh, dating women his age and... He Plus, really you know, when you have the Phoenix Force in you, uh, it's there's no going. Uh, it can change a man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Miss Fury. How about that? I, was, uh, I think the whole cover was glared, but okay. That's all right. It's out there if you need to find it. Rogue Trooper. This was awesome. 
If, if no one's read Rogue Trooper, this is your chance to jump into the new IDW line. Yeah. It's great. He's a genetically engineered soldier. Like Kurt Russell? Kinda. But Kurt Russell wasn't genetically engineered. Like He's Steve grown Rogers? in a PT. But his helmet, his backpack, and his gun have chips from his former platoon mates. Because they have microchips in their brain. Sure. So his equipment all has personalities and issues. Oh. It's good stuff. So his baggage has baggage. There you go. <laughs> all right. Rover Red Charlie. There you go. The apocalypse from the dog's point of view. That's been just dogs. great. Yeah. The Saviors by James Robinson and Jay Bone. I've been enjoying that too. Yeah. Nick likes everything. Except for Batmite. He doesn't like Batmite. Do you like Batmite? I do like Batmite. Okay. Plus I, I like Scooby-Doo. It's funny that Nick likes every comic book, but he never liked anything that wasn't a comic book ever. With the possible exception of Shirley Manson. I love Shirley Manson. Who doesn't love Shirley Manson? I know, right? Don't be stupid. Uh, look, another issue of this came out. On a regular basis. So you're not going to get me back. It's been good. I tried. I wanted to love you. I can't love That's you. That's the main reason why I didn't get Starlight. Because you don't want to get emotionally get, involved. I'm not getting there. Tur- Turok, issue two, Dinosaur Hunter. I like this book, Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's been good. J. Michael Straczynski. Who did that cover? He's an Italian, I think. Mm, Frank Avila? Oh, you know, right there in his wheelhouse, buddy. That's right, buddy. Look at this. How about that? See, I told him not to play. Yeah, Russian roulette. Mao! Mao! (laughs) Daisy (laughs) Mao! Vampire Diaries? Yeah, I think we sold two copies. That many, huh? Yeah. Veil? Read that. That was awesome. Okay. Really true. Rucka is yeah. really good. That was good stuff. Greg Rucka like really writes really good female characters. <laughs> um, look at that. Days of Future Past hardcover. Yep. Just in time for the movie. You know Marvel's got to get in, even though they're not getting anything from the movie. Sure. Uh, X Force. Hardcover. The Remender yep. stuff. Muppets hardcover. Roger Landridge. So good stuff. That's pretty good. Let's go back up here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Captain America. How about that? I, that one's been killing me because... Look, there's world famous Adam book fan. Adam oh Mike. my God. I don't want to be part of your video. <laughs> you already are. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of videos with you in them. Uh, clone. <laughs> darkness. Look, there's the darkness. That was a good band. One hit. Yeah. Uh, Dayman. Adam, if you feel like it, you can just go back and get your books out of there. Or you can wait for me. I don't care. Okay. Mark Wade's Green Hornet. Mark Wade's Green Hornet. Look at that. Uh, we like it when we get customers that don't mind just yeah, you know, shopping just, around while we can finish this. Yeah, Green Lantern. Look, Earthworm Jim's on the cover. <laughs> How about that? Uh, cat fight. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, nothing better than a goth chick with problems. I... Um, <laughs> for once I'm actually speechless because <laughs> she's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. She's really yanking the stuffing on that one. Yeah, she is. And I will be also later. Look, Grindhouse, doors open at midnight, issue six. Bride of Blood. Bride of Blood. Bill's pick of the week, Moon Knight. Gone. Sold out. Reordered. Sold out, Sold out before out I could get, yes. Sold out. Before I could even get one. I know. You can't shelf shop nothing here at Bill's Books. Our customers are too savvy. They pick up on the good stuff right away. And I pretty much pointed everyone towards it. Thanks. You couldn't have pointed one less person towards it? Sorry. The movement. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick already had that today. Uh, the New Warriors. It's on my stack. I got to read that. New Warriors. I like some of the characters. Night of the Living Deadpool. This one, it's funny, but it's I'm really getting... You're Deadpooled out. Uh, I'm getting Deadpooled it's out. It's Deadpool and zombies, two things that are so overdone you just want to blow your own head off. Both in the same book. Noir. A couple bondage chicks. The Shadow. Shadow Now. Shadow Now. Look at that cover on Shadow Now. Is that Tim Bradstreet? Of course. I think so. Looks like it. New She-Hulk. Yeah, I know some people didn't like it. I enjoy the book. I like the writing in it. And the art is very Mike Allred-esque, which I know is not for everybody. Yeah, it's, so. you got to be into it. Yeah, it's got to be your thing. Uh, Sinister Dexter. The Sinister it's Dexter. Reprints from the 2000 AD. Starlight, the newest book that won't get finished from Mark Millar. 
the art is what's wa- that art I want, but Gordon I'm Parlons, not getting Millard. But, yeah, you can't get emotionally involved Millard. in a Millard book mm-hmm. because he'll just break your heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stormwatch, I don't care about. Velvet, that's Ryan's pick of the week. He said if there's Deadpool or Brubaker, he go- he said go Brubaker. Sure, sure. Um, Warlord of Mars with the uh, voluptuous young Deja Thoris on the cover. Uh, Wild, Wild Blue, Blue Yonder. Yonder, I love that book. Nick loves every comic book and no human beings. Uh, people um, get on your nerves. Sure. Wolverine and the X-Men. Is that a number, a number one? An well, actual number one? No, it's a one and then a two and then it's done. But uh, it's a one well, and it's a one. Yeah, but the series so just ended. And then it's a one and a two and then it's done. I don't get it. There's, you're not meant to get they it. They need to stop. Hey, what's your pick for book of the week? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ma. We're going to get a guest pick of the week this week. Why not? Don't we do two issues of Wolverine and the X Men? Yes. Yep. Are you that's bullshit. <laughs> Probably Language. YouTube, that's Adam Yike. <laughs> okay, so that's the new books, and we'll uh, finish in a, just a second after we. Uh, Wash his mouth him. out with. After so we reprimand him for. Potty mouth. Yeah, potty so mouth. Gonna okay, we're back. Sorry, we had some customers we had to deal with. They keep the lights on. They do keep the lights on. Anyway. So look look at the swag we got. We got a Wonder Woman statue, which is pretty cool. The Jim Lee version of the whatever the Art of War Wonder Woman. It was Art actually nice. I you know I had to look at them to make sure they're okay. Yeah, and then a, another Batman black and white statue by Gary Frank this time. I got one, of course, and it's awesome. Yeah, because Nick buys the Batman black and white statues. And I won't be getting the Neo Adam Zombie one though. No. No. Okay. Uh, we got the Gasoline Alley hardcover for all you people that like the uh, the classic Sunday funnies, Gasoline Alley. In full size, yeah, newspaper size. Those are full, pretty good. Like the full size newspaper size. But, I don't know what that yeah, means. I don't even yeah. know what that means either. Uh, we got a Star Trek, uh, the Excelsior. Yeah, from I believe it is Undiscovered Country because it's got oh my. It's oh the my. Kind of, he, Does it say oh my? No. Oh. <laughs> I would love to, you know, hack that and just, oh, oh my. That'd be good stuff. Uh, we got some more Arkham uh, figures. Arkham, what are they, Arkham Yeah, we've Arkham's? got the balance of our anarchy. Yeah, look at that. Anarchy is pretty cool. And then we got our dead shot. That's what we used to call it when you'd hold one nostril and blow a booger out. Oh. That's dead shot in somebody. Oh, and then we, already had those. we already had those. And then a, oh, one no. of the Batmobile, uh, Bat, Batman automobiles. Sure. Those are pretty cool. So um, that's everything we got this week, yeah. and we don't have another convention until what? C- uh, Gem City, right? Uh, yeah, I think Ge- so. Gem City in Dayton in a couple weeks, so that's where Bill will be. But uh, let's uh, talk about let's the talk previews. Talk previews. Okay. Before we forget, we're having a tax, our annual tax time sale. So when you get that government money back, we want it. When the government sent you your check, we want some of it. Um, it'll be Saturday the 8th of this month. What is it, March? Yes. It's March, yeah. This coming Saturday. So here's the sale. Uh, 50% of all off all of our binned back issues and our Silver Age back issues in the back. Now, will that include New 52? Yes. Yes, it, it will. It will include New 52. So Question anything I get. we have New 52, it will also be 50% off. Also, it'll be 20% off most everything else except for the sideshows and hot toys because... That stuff's expensive, and we got to pay for it, so we're going to make you suffer, too. Um, also, all of our dollar books, and we just got a bunch of new dollar books that we just put out last week, um, will be 50 cents, and you can build a long box of dollar books for $50. If a I'm whole mistaken. long box? A whole long box, Billy. A whole long box. A whole <sighs> long box. Does it come with whipped cream? Say that again? Whipped cream? Say that again? Whipped cream. Uh, anyway, uh, so, yes, yeah, so come down to the big tax time sale and give us some of your government money. And give some of it to Dan Gorman because he'll be here, too. Dan Gorman will be here? Dan, Dan Gorman. Be here. I'm totally not showing up then. <laughs> I okay, thought so. Okay, bye-bye. Previews. Previews. Oh, yeah. What are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? Oh, I'm dizzy now. Hey, kids, here we are with the brand new previews. We're going to look at some stuff that you got to buy. Yeah, you just gotta just, buy it. Just gotta buy it. I okay. mean, if you don't have access to a preview, that's why we do this. Right. Uh, Marvel Comics first. Let's go there because we got some. There's stuff. actually some in the Marvel to highlight. Yeah. yeah. The original sin, uh, the new uh, big event crossover, whatever you want to call it. Which, if you if you're a shopper, we do the party. You'll get. You, you might get a watcher eyeball. Yeah. There's actually watcher eyeballs that they give out. 
Yeah, that's not creepy. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Um, Cyclops, number one. Cyclops with Corsair, his dad. Great, written by Greg Rucka. That's pretty good. That's how you get Greg Rucka back at Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but wait, hold on a second. Hold on now. Hold, a, hold on a second. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, number one, featuring Shang-Chi. There you go. With the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Look at that amazing Dave Johnson cover. Wow. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm. Uh, what else we got in here? I think this is the next thing. Look at that. Painkiller Jane. Another mini. The 22 Brides. If you're not reading Painkiller Jane, then you're missing out. It's good stuff. It's Jimmy Palmiotti. How it's, bad could it be? His worst stuff is better yeah. than the best stuff of most people. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Yes. Uh, also... The United States of Murder Inc. Number one by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Oming. You know you got to get on that. Yeah, that's another. I mean, and then look at that awesome David Mack variant. Yeah, that's another book that they'll do two issues of and then forget about. Well. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Look, this looks pretty good. The hardcover of the Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale uh, limited series, uh, the Daredevil Yellow, the Spider Man Blue, and the Hulk Gray. Those were all good too. I've got those, all of those are all really good. Yeah. So if they're all collected in one place, it's three it's, times as good. It's worth it. Yep. That's a one of their hard covers is worth it. Yes. Uh we also wanted to highlight this, the uh Fury Max hardcover. For those of you who uh didn't get a chance to read Fury Max. That was good stuff. Good stuff. Is it Garth Ennis? Garth Ennis Garth and Goran Ennis. Parlov. That's the Punisher Max team. There you go. So check that out. So that's all in the Marvel for now. I'm not uh, starting the big book. Look at this. Boom, Dark Horse. The original RoboCop vs. Terminator uh, limited series, uh, written by Frank Miller with art by Walt Simonson. This is back when neither one of them were crazy. Walt Simonson's not really crazy, is no. he? No. But Frank Miller is definitely crazy. Yeah. But this is before he was crazy. So check that out. And you can or, or you can order the, the art book, too. The gallery this is, edition. Basically, yes. this is like the artist edition of that. It's Dark Horse's version of it. And it's Walt Simonson drawn RoboCop and Terminator. So, I mean, that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. So, there you go. Oh, this, um, we've got the Usagi Yojimbo Red Scorpion. And we've also got the Sakai Project to benefit Stan Sakai, the creator of uh, it's Usagi. It's actually to benefit his wife, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, his med their medical bills. But there, there's a lot of good artists in here. Arthur Adams, Mike Allred, Howard Chaikin, Corbin, Michael Golden, David Mack, Alex I mean, Malieve. A lot of great stuff in there for only 25 bucks, And that's that way you can at least feel good about getting great stuff, too. That's right. It's, it goes to a worthy cause. Look, Game of Thrones action figures. How about that? For all you games. No, those are statues. Oh, are those the statues? Those right? are statues, yeah. The action figures come from uh, Funko. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so. which we just ordered a couple, but we already sold them. That's how we do it. Yeah. That's how we do it here at Bill's Books. Look at this. Nick, how do you feel about Not gonna it? Not going to do it. Going to do it? Look, no. there's Grifter. I don't care. You like Grifter. It said that he's bad. He <laughs> turns on humanity. Grifter doesn't do that. Nick, you've turned on humanity. Well, Can you blame a, him? That was a while ago. Sure. Um, look at that. Justice League United, number one, Jeff Lemire. That's what's taking over for Justice League for me. Yeah. You know, not just because Jeff Lemire, but I figure if Luther's going to be on the Justice League, I'm going with Adam Strange. With Adam Strange. He's going with Adam Strange. Also doomed, which it's yeah. Superman and nobody cares. Um, DC Comics, they got a lot of good figures. Here's a three-pack with unmasked Deathstroke. The Joker as the Red Hood and Copperhead. I kind of like the uh, the Earth 2. Yeah, the Earth 2 Batman, the Earth 2 Superman. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Those are pretty good also, so check those out. Um, we've got The Beautiful War, Beautiful number one. War, Ashley, Ashley Wood. Yep. That's going to be pretty good. I mean, just look at it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, Flesh and Steel, The Art of Russ Heath. That's going to be some nice stuff. We already pre-sold like three of them. Yeah, Russ Heath is good. He's one of those uh, underappreciated classic artists. Um, speaking of artist editions, here's uh, Mike Mignola's Hellboy artist edition. It's for the Hellboy and Hell, which they had to finish the series so they could do the artist edition. <laughs> yes, so definitely all all artist editions are awesome. Mike Mignola is awesome. Yeah. Hell, Hellboy's okay. I mean, his art is incredible. Yeah. Hellboy's an original character. I, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it's yeah. changing the world, but right. But it's it's been around a long time, like Savage yeah. Dragon. Twenty years. I, yeah, 25 I, I years? don't really read it, but you got to admire his longevity yeah. and his 
stick to it in this. Uh, new uh, Mark Millar book that he will not finish, probably. Uh, MPH. Basically, what is this? If Flash was a bad guy? It's something about drugs. They find drugs. And here's the thing. It's another one where it probably is a good story initially. I'm just not going to get suckered in. But he, they keep getting me with the artist. Oh, the artist, Duncan Fagredo. He's awesome. Uh, look, new Warren Ellis book, Trees. Which, if anyone picked up Moon Knight this week, knows that Warren Ellis knows how to write a book. Yes, and uh, art and cover by Jason Howard. Jason Howard's good, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be nice stuff. Cowl, number one, by Kyle Higgins and Alex Siegel. Yeah, the... It's basically a superhero labor union. Yep. So, hey, there's a, there's a person coming in. I'll right. be right back. Ugh. Sorry. Hey, they keep the lights on. They do keep the lights on. As okay. we said earlier. Yeah. Cowl, superhero labor union. Madam Frankenstein, look at that. See, I, I, I contemplated it, but nah. I, I'm, if it's one I'm actually going to pass on. But Yeah, I think I am too. And I like Frankenstein, but that looks pretty cool. Nail biter, I'm definitely doing. Heck yeah. Yeah, look at that guy. That's good stuff. That's going to be good stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Revival Chew and Chew Revival, the crossover you never thought you'd see. Yeah. And a new uh, Burn the Orphanage miniseries. Yeah. So, That's good stuff there. It's all good stuff. Prophet Strike File and Tales from the Con. Tales from the Con. That's always a cool one. Uh, art by Chris uh, Giarusso. I don't yeah. ever want to mispronounce people's names horribly, but I will. I think I think that that is the correct pronunciation. Okay. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? This one is because here you can order a three pack of Skyward Traits for twenty five bucks. And you could also look at that. <laughs> That's free to look at. It is. I bet it costs you to touch it, though. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> uh, what Look, Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Boom. I hope they do it better than the last time a comic company did Nightbreed. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, the Woods uh, by James Tinian, who does uh, Talon, right? Yeah. Yep. So check that out. Another one from Boom. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rust Volume 3. This is a great all-age original graphic novel series from uh, Arkea. Death of the Rocket Boy. It's good stuff. Okay. Uh, this is for all of you people who finally remember the 90s, the Return uh, of the Chaos characters, Evil Ernie, Purgatory, uh, whoever else, I forget. Who Chastity. Else. Yeah. I think uh, Evil Ernie Dynamite's already done one mini with, but this is the first with the, the ladies, if The you will. ladies, yeah. Those are like Evil Ernie's angels. There you go. But they're not angelic at all. No. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Specter, Master of the Occult. I mean... If the Christian Ward cover doesn't get you, how about the Frank Avilia subscription? Never heard of him. Or, I like that one. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, and I mean Mark Wade's right, Nick. Sure, Mark Wade. Mark Wade is quality guaranteed. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Blunt Man and Chronic, uh, Mego style action figures. Because you know, you put your weed in it. Yep. Uh, let's see, Andre the Giant, the Life and Legend graphic novel. That one, I mean, I really hesitated over. But also, um, this one summer. That looks pretty good. It looks like something like Blankets or Exit or... Get a lot of good stuff from uh, First, first Second. First Second, yes. Uh, what is this? I don't... You must have done this. I don't know what this is. Oh, new Atomic Robo starting. Excellent. Atomic oh. Robo and the Knights of the Golden Circle. And he looks like it's in a Spaghetti Western. There you I go. Like. I like that. Uh, let's see. This was your Essex County uh, back in Essex print. Essex County back in print. I ordered it. They canceled it. I ordered it. They canceled it. Jeff Lemire, why won't you let me read it? Well, it's not... Jeff Lemire's fault, and it's really not Top Shelf's fault. It was the distributor's fault. They can I, can I they don't tell people when they sell out. They solicit something they have no copies of. So you're saying that it's Diamond's fault? Yep. I find that hard to believe. No. Unbelievable. Speaking of hard to believe, we'll be, we'll be right, right back. back.